them and happy Earth Day, a day where activists called for greater action to combat climate change and to celebrate and raise awareness for the well-being of the Earth and its ecology. Earth Day was founded by Wisconsin Senator Gaylord Nelson in 1970, the same year that Congress established the United States Environmental Protection Agency. According to Nelson, he envisioned a grassroots movement to shake up the, the po political establishment and to force this issue onto the national agenda. Earth Day is marked by millions of Americans, as well as millions more around the world, calling for greater action to combat climate change. State Farm in East Syracuse is hiring. The part-time job is very flexible and you will be trained before you start. For more information, call David Kresge, Kresge at 315-802-5502. What do we have in other news, Olivia? These are today's top stories. Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin has been convicted of all charges against him on Tuesday. Chauvin will be facing 40 years in jail for second degree murder, 25 years for third degree murder, and 10 years for second degree manslaughter. Three other officers are awaiting trial that should, have place, that should take place later this summer. Police Chief Medaria Arenado thanked the the other officers of the Minneapolis Police Department for their service and called upon any possible upcoming demonstrations to be peaceful. The statement is also on the Minneapolis Police Department Twitter. On Monday at the last Board of Education meeting, Binghamton parents and community members debated an elementary school's book of the month till about midnight. Something happened in our town is about racial tensions between police and minority communities meant to start conversation among students about topics widely discussed in the city guided by carefully crafted lessons. After a video circulated of the story being read, the Southern Tier Chapter of the New York State Fraternal Order of Police and Binghamton Benevolent Association issued statements condemning the school's choice, calling it an anti-police book. The Binghamton City School District Superintendent, Tanya Thompson, issued a statement apologizing for the book's portrayal of police, but defended the educator's choice to use it in the classroom. We support and respect the brave police officers that protect our community. In no way does this book represent our thinking or beliefs about our police, the district said. It is unfortunate when any profession is portray portrayed negatively. We apologize for the negative light that this has shined on our, their profession and community to our safety. Thompson has said the book has not been banned or pulled and is used and can continue to be used in the district. Early Tuesday morning, NASA's Perseverance rover successfully converted carbon dioxide on Mars into 5.4 grams of oxygen, enough oxygen to sustain an astronaut for around 10 minutes. For future tests, the rover is expected to be capable of producing 10 grams of oxygen per hour, and in the future, scientists are expecting to attach a much larger version, weighing upwards of one metric ton, to supply a team of astronauts and their ship for over a year. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning everyone, today we'll have a high of 46 with some winds and snow showers. Tomorrow is going to warm up to a high of 58 with mostly sunny skies. Saturday is going to be in the mid 60s with mixed sun and clouds. Sunday and Monday will be in the 50s with possible rain showers. And Tuesday will be mostly sunny with a high of 66. I'm Gabby with your weather. The ESM Unified Bowling Team completed its season on Tuesday at Green Lakes Bowl. After their matches were finished, the team celebrated with pizza party and the pres presentation of the Unified Bowling Medals to each player. The boys' varsity volleyball team remained undefeated in league play and swept the season series with a win last night against JD, three games to zero. The Spartans recorded 13 aces as a team and were led by Sean fin Finnerty, who had seven of, the, seven of them. Aiden Finnerty paced the, with the Spartans, seven kills while 
Devin Moscato, Buffalo added 18 assists, and Cole Thomas added 12 digits, digs. ESM is currently 9-4 overall and 6-0 in league play, heading into their final game of the season on Friday at Oswego. Former Syracuse forward O'Shea Brissett finished with 23 points, 12 rebounds, and 3 blocks, and 2 steals in his 42-minute game with the Pacers. Pacers ended beating the OKC Thunder. The Phoenix Suns beat the Philadelphia 76ers 116-113. Chris Paul scored 28 points in Joel Embiid last last second full court shot went in and out as he finished with 38 points on the night. In upcoming games, the girls volleyball team plays their last game at JD tonight at 6:45. I'm Isabel with your sports.